There was a feeling when I was a kid, when I saw Star Wars for the first time, that it was all practical and real. Yeah, I'll take that red one. And seeing C-3PO and R2, there was no doubt. It was a physical, tangible, real thing. You knew it when you saw the movie. So I felt that it was really important that we make BB-8 as real as possible. BB-8 is so charismatic, a little bit feisty. I'm starting to wonder whether R2-D2 is a distant cousin. His design is so ingenious because it feels like I've seen it before. It feels like uh, it's familiar to the Star Wars universe, but it's not, it's completely new. It was a, a sketch that uh, I think JJ did on a napkin. JJ said, well, okay, why don't we take the next generation on from R2? He was the first character I had real scenes with, and I was nervous because it's not a human being. Where do you come from? Classified, really. But the puppeteers, they bring him to life. Daisy and John, they look at him as a co-star. I would challenge anyone not to love BB-8. Over the course of the last three decades, fans have donated countless hours to supporting numerous charities globally. In 2014, Force for Change announced its first collaboration